Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, annual salaries. This is standard 6.14H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 36 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the table shows the median, right? And that's a number that we learned from our data analysis. That means the middle. So it's not the highest, but it's not entry level as well. So median, just a middle annual salaries for two different jobs, marketing manager, financial analyst. All right. So uh, based on the information in the table, how much more money would a marketing manager earn than a financial analyst? over 10 years. So what we're looking here is, uh, you know, our annual salaries, right? So we've got 115,750, obviously that's more. Then we've got the financial analyst, uh, that's uh, 76,950. But one of the things we want you to learn in sixth grade is you get this salary year after year after year. So after 10 years, while this might not look like that big of a difference, we'll see how big of a difference there. So there's really two ways we can do this, right? So one way we can do this, is we can just go ahead and multiply both of these by 10. Uh, and then we can just subtract the two. So uh, if we know our strategies for multiplying by 10 or 100 or 1,000, we know we're just adding zeros, right? So if I wanted to do 115,750, I'm just going to, and I'm going to go ahead and drop the comma so I don't get confused. If you multiply it by 10, you're just getting an extra zero. And it's the same thing here if I do uh, 76,950, and then you add an extra zero. You can subtract the two. All right, and that's going to be zero, and we have to regroup here. That's eight, another regrouping. That's another eight, 10 minus seven is three, right? So, wow, 388,000. That's big. Over 10 years, right, this marketing manager uh, is gonna make $388,000 more. So that's that's where you start seeing the cumulative effect of all of these. Another way you could do it is you could just subtract these two and then multiply by 10. And you, we're going to watch. It's, it's going to act very similar, right? But we're going to see that one of our incorrect answers is actually here when we do this. We could just take the annual salary. And we can subtract it. So it's going to be the same thing what we just did besides the zero, right? We just, we just chopped the zero off. That's zero, that's zero. Regrouping again, that's 8. Regrouping again, 14, so that's 8. But this is just for one year. Take a look at this. If I were to do it like this, right, 38,800, well, look, that is right there. So if there's any type of trick in this problem, right, uh, that's what you're going to get. That's incorrect because you still need to multiply this by 10. So once you multiply that by 10, you throw another zero on there. Oh, there you go. There's your answer. Now, uh, if you are unsure as to what how much more means, well, let's see what happens when you just add them. So we're going to add instead of subtract because we weren't reading closely. Let's see if this gets us one of our incorrect answers. That's 10, 17, that's 12. That's nine. Would you look at that? Well, we have uh, an incorrect answer. Actually, it's not the full incorrect answer. We'd still have to multiply that by 10 to get that extra zero, but that's where this one comes from. Um, and if we didn't multiply by zero, look, that's where this one comes from. So you notice that G and J uh, are the same except for that extra zero. So that's just addition rather than subtraction. But our answer here is going to be H, $388,000.